Hi guys, welcome to another happy day here in Bali and welcome to another episode of Russian Girl Diary. So today I have decided to have a speaking video, to have a little chat with you so you can get to know me better and in general this channel is about my life as a Russian and Russian perspective on things. So yeah, my name is Lisa and I've been living abroad for a while for new viewers who didn't know me. Originally I'm from Russia, I was born in Vladivostok town, I studied in university there, but I always knew that I want to travel and I want to live abroad. For the last two years I've been living in China, I live in Shanghai and Macau, and currently I am located in Bali, Indonesia, and on my way I had a lot of nice experiences and a lot of bad experiences as well. So what is the reality of being Russian and being abroad? First of all, I want to tell you that we have problem with getting visas to everywhere. I will tell you that I never been to such countries as the US or Canada or Australia because it's complicated to get visa there. Of course, we can get it, but it requires a lot of financial documents such as proof of your job, really nice bank statement, the documents if you're married or not, your properties and stuff like that. So I mostly have been traveling around Asian countries recently. They require a lot of documents that will prove that you have a really strong connection to Russia or the another country you live in. So basically, if you don't have really nice job or really big bank statement and if you like really young and not married girl, for example, like me, it, it's, it lowers your chances. For different relationship visas, it's also a little bit more complicated. Even if you're in genuine relationship with a partner from those countries, you still can get rejected. You need to work really hard to prove that your relationship is genuine. I remember I had a story when I dated a man from US for a few months, like one or two months, but his job was working for US government. So I cannot tell you what the job exactly was it, but the result was that we cannot be together because just of my passport. And because of sanctions, it's getting even worse. For example, to get a US visa, we cannot get now in Russia. We have to fly to another country to get it, to get appointment in another embassy of US in different country and then get interviewed there and it costs a lot of money. Okay, so next one is traveling itself. Even if you get your visa or you travel into a country with visa on arrival, it still can get a bit stressful. Especially if you travel alone, this profile of young girl traveling alone with Russian passport it just doesn't look right for immigration officers. Sometimes they really would double check every information, your visa, your purpose of visit, ask you some questions and check in your money, for example. That makes me stressful a lot. Even this time, when I came to Indonesia, I flew from Singapore to Jakarta and in my flight there were just a few foreigners on the board. So it was really empty on immigration arrival and I was just almost alone there. So immigration officer had time to really double check everything, ask me questions, it was suspicious, but in the end he let me in. Another big one is a bank card. As you already might know, Russian cards get blocked everywhere outside of Russia. Thankfully, I have some foreigners bank card from China and from Macau. So I almost didn't get affected, but I still get affected because if I want to do some business in Russia, sell and buy something in Russia, I just cannot transfer those money from Russia to myself, to my foreign bank or send money to my family. But it was not really nice even before sanctions a while ago. It's definitely more complicated to open bank account with Russian passport for yourself or for your business. And right now, for example, those Western online bank services would refuse if your location is Russia or you have a Russian nationality. So 
we in general we have limited services language barrier russia is more of the close countries especially now when our television just says western world is so bad western countries are our enemies and stuff like that we almost grew up without english speaking environment and majority of people in russia they just don't speak english of course we learn english in schools and universities but we never get a chance to practice it because we just don't have those english environments so i have to do just everything by myself i have to start learning english from the beginning by myself setting up my own goals my english was bad and it was really a hard way to leave russia actually but I know my goals and I set up my goals that I want to learn English, I want to understand English, I want to work in English language. So here we go. Now I have English speaking channel and now I can chat with you. Next big struggle is stereotypes about Russian people. I know that my viewers of my channel are from really different countries, so I know that you can get different perspective on Russian people. In some countries I know that stereotypes are good, cute and funny and people are friendly to Russian people. But on my way I met people who had as really strong stereotypes about Russian people and then they thought I might be dangerous for them. People just transfer those beliefs on me, so next time when I see another person, I just don't know sometimes what to expect. Another one, I would call it unclear future. Hey guys, I really don't know what's going to happen to my country. Will it get worse or will it get better one day? Or will it be the same forever? We just don't know answers. In this time, I just don't feel any stability, I cannot predict things. I think most of the people now just trying to reorganize their life with this new reality, but we cannot see a clear future. And it feels really weird for me. And my conclusion, we are all from different countries. And being Russian doesn't mean only have struggles everywhere, but have advantages too. And I'm here not to only complain. You, the people who will watch this video, you have different background, you have different struggles in your life and different advantages too. Here on this channel, this is my life and I share my reality here. By overcoming struggles, I learn a lot and now I have a really interesting life. Interesting fact that difficulties on our way makes us stronger. So maybe that's why Russian people are so strong. My next videos are going to be vlogs and if you're interested on watching this channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate every new subscriber. So see you in the next one. Bye bye.